Hello guys, this is Panzermeister 36 and today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on just using some oils as, um, as a medium to produce streaks and discoloration on a vehicle. As you can see here, I have a T34 that I've just been having fun on weathering. Uh, I, was, I just went really heavy on the weathering, but as you can see I've got plenty of streaks along the hull like that. I have not used any AK Interactive or anything like that streaking grimes. I've only used um, oils for the streaks, washes, uh, the chipping was acrylics, but mainly the actual discoloration, everything like that, uh, dry brushing, everything, it's all been oils. So I'm just going to do a little video where I um, show just how to make these streaks and stuff like that. Oils are a very nice product to work with. I highly recommend them. You can make streaks, you can do chipping, you can do a whitewash, you can do um, you can do a pin wash. Um, yeah, just you can do everything with them. And you can paint people with them like a really useful for figure painting as well because they go down really smoothly and they're a very thin layer. So hope you guys enjoy this video guys and hope it helps you out. As I said, oils are awesome. So let's get into weathering. So I've got some oil paint set up here. Uh, I've got raw umber, um, really bright yellow and a kind of faded yellow here. I mainly bought this color to do discoloration on something like a German Panzer that's gonna be yellow. But it worked out pretty well in the T34. So um, I'm going to do it on just this little rear plate of a T34 that I've painted up here. Basically um, these oils, they're designed to go on a canvas so they have linseed oil and some other stuff in them that you don't really want, not necessarily on your model, but you don't want to paint on your model with it because it's not going to behave as it should because these are designed to behave on a canvas and to be absorbed in. You want them to kind of sit more on the model more. So you have to remove the linseed oil or at least as much of it as you can. So easiest way to do that is just cardboard. Got a little piece here. This is like, you know, part of the box, the kit. And then we're just going to put some little blobs of it on there and just leave it for a while until it uh, the paint seems less goopy and more kind of waxy, I guess, as I'd say it. So here are the oils out in the cardboard. I just wanted to show you uh, kind of the consistency of the... If you're using something like those um, MIG oils, uh, they are specially designed, they don't have to do this, I'm pretty sure, but oils are kind of like weird and jelly when you first put them out. Um, but they will kind of somewhat solidify and they will lose their mushy linseed oilness after you leave them out in cardboard like this for a while, and then they'll be much nicer on the model. So first of all, I'm going to simulate some kind of grime buildup around these rivets along here. And I'm just going to kind of put on some oil paint like this. Now right now it does look quite heavy but just with a bit of thinners we can completely tone it down and blend it in with the uh, green. And while that dries, I've also mixed a lighter brown. I'll show you here. Um, I just took some of the raw umber, probably two thirds raw umber and then uh, uh, one third white. As you can see, it's just a nice kind of weary muddy brown. So I'm just gonna do this on the edges, maybe to simulate some kind of mud buildup. This looks really good uh, with a layer of pigments as well.
so as you can see, um, the dust and the grime is building up a nice effect. Uh, this is not what you'll do as a final product. You'll do some pigments over top of that. I'll probably do that in the video just to show you what it looks like. Right now we're going to go with the uh, discoloration streaking. So I've got my paints over here, you know, my four colors again. So we're just going to do some streaks. Just taking a bit of it. And you can either make dots or lines. Alright, so here's all, here's all the dots of oil paint over. Actually, um, I used the paint brush at the beginning, but then I went over and started using a micro brush, which is this little thing here, which gives nice little dots. So now we're going to um, let it sit for maybe an hour or so, and then we're going to start working on the streaks. And now what I do is I take um, just a bit of thinner, put it in the cap like this, and I will, I will dip the brush in it. And then I'll wipe most of it off, just so the brush is a bit damp, but not that it's full of the thinner. And I just lightly go over the surface in a downwards motion to get the uh, streaks looking good. And now here is the final effects. As you can see, the streaking on this side is a little more heavy because I added a little more brown, a little more white to it. But compared to this side, it's a little more heavy. But you know, you can choose whichever colors you want on a, green, on a vehicle like this. I suggest getting a blue and a green rather than some yellows. Though yellow would be cool too. Um, yeah, similar colors to what the base color is, or better. These colors I use here are more, are more suitable for something like a Dunkel Gelb vehicle. But they still had a nice effect here. You can see I've got a little yellow up here, a little brown up here. I just kind of went random little areas of different colors. Had some interest. I also went back and did the pigments uh, that I promised I would, just to show you. And I only need a tiny little bit of it because most of the color of the pigment was already built up underneath with that brown oil paint that I just went on quickly with. So it only took a little bit. And also you can see I've kind of got some effects here with the when I use that oil paint the and that uh, mud colored oil paint. So I got kind of like some splashed up streaking effects all the way over here. Like this area here, is, there's not really much pigment on that, that's mostly just the paint. Also up here you can clearly see that I've done a kind of whitewashy thing. I just took a, a little piece of sponge like this, I just kind of, you know, dabbed it on with oil paint, the white oil paint, and then I took some green, just the normal Russian green, and I kind of went back over, just along the edges and lightly kind of chipped it back so as you can see it's kind of worked back along the edges so realistic effect there um, <clears throat> also if you want to know another way to do that or to do a whitewash with oils I did a video on it I think it's called painting and whitewashing or something like that a Panzer IV House H it's in my tutorial somewhere I used uh, oil paint and also AK Interactive or no I think it was MIG and MIG uh, whitewash materials so it kind of since one's enamel and one's oil, they kind of didn't really mix and it kind of added a chippy effect. Because they kind of layered nastily over each other, but it, but it looked good, okay. <clears throat> so overall, I'm um, really happy with the result. Just a quick little fun thing to do here. Hope it helps you guys out. Um, yeah, oils are a great product. Oops. <laughs> oils are a great product and they you can do a lot of things with them. And they're probably... Uh, much more value for money than other products that you can get out there like specifically design project because something like this, you know, a tube paint like this probably costs about twice as much as 
you know, an 8K Interactive or MIG or Ammo, whatever, a jar of streaking grime or whatever, you know, something like this. But it's not thinned down. The AK product is thinned down, so it's going to you basically get less paint in there. The oil paint, you thin it down and you get more bang for your buck out of that. But of course, the AK products are like specifically designed colors and things like that, so whatever works for you, I don't know. I like both, personally. <laughs> I don't know. Yep, so basically, I hope this video helps you guys out. Hope it inspires you to try some oils. They're really fun. You can also do pin washes with them, too. They're really um, flexible medium. You can do many of the different things with them. Here I did a little bit of highlighting along the bolts and a little on that thing right there, the hinge. Yep, so thanks for watching, guys. Oils are great. Highly recommended. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.